All right, hey, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, a segue. So uh, as you can see, I already have a pre-made app here with a Packers button and a Bears button. My goal is to get a random Packer image or a Bear image to show up on my second view controller. You can see I've added in the view uh, controller there on the right-hand side. I do have an image view right here as well. It's kind of hard to see with the NFL logo. But so what you have to do is first you have to remember that uh, and I also in my assets have uploaded uh, my bear one two three picture and my packer one two three picture as well as my NFL background that I have uh, on my iPhone screen so let's go ahead and we need to create excuse me we need to create a file for this a view controller with file right now we just have the screen so we have to go to File, New File, Cocoa Touch Class, hit Next, and I'm going to write Picture View Controller. All right, since the picture is going to show up there, I need it to I need to make sure it says UI View Controller in here, and our language is Swift. So go ahead and, and hit Next and Create. All right, so now you can see I've created my Picture View Controller here. Uh, however, just because I created it, it doesn't know that it wants to be linked up to this one. So I have to click my view controller and I need to make sure my class is switched to my picture view controller right there. All right. So now, now we're all hooked up. All right. So we're all hooked up. So let's go to our view controller. All right. And inside of view controller, we're going to create a variable. So var, we'll say picture equal, or excuse me, colon, uh, is going to be a bool. All right, we're then going to prepare uh, a, say, a segue. So prepare segue for. Here, we'll create a let NVC equals segue dot destination as picture view controller. All right, so remember. Uh, NVC, the reason I write that is it just stands for Next View Controller. All right. Uh, it's just we're transferring to the Next View Controller, so NVC, that's what we use. All right. Or you can use. Um, I want to show you how to also hook up uh, your Segway. So there's two different ways we can do it. Uh, option number one is to take your controller and hook it up. All right. Just like that. So I held down the control button, clicked my view controller, and dragged it to the next one. And as you can see, here is my segue. All right, I need to name this segue. So uh, for coding language, I want to know, I want to name it something that's going to do. So it's going to be segue to picture view controller. All right, picture to segue to picture view controller. All right, so if you go back down into our view controller, you can see I've added already two buttons for my Packer button and my Bears button. All right, so we want to go into our picture view controller. We need to create uh, what I like to consider kind of like a clone. So I'm going to go var picture past is also going to be a bool. All right, going to be true or false. So remember, a bool is true or false. All right. Okay, this stuff. Delete this just so it's out of the way. All right, so now I have var picture past is a bool. I can transfer back over to my view controller and start to write some more here. So now I'm going to say NBC dot picture past equals picture. So what we did here was we uh, we said NVC, which is segueing to our picture view controller. We picked up the variable we just created, which is picture past. We're just going to equal our picture, which is here. So like I said, it's pretty much the way I like to see it is cloning something from one view controller to the next, so it understands. All right, so we can pass things off. 
All right, so here we're going to say picture equals true. All right. And then here we're going to perform uh, a segue. So perform segue with identifier. Now, this is what you named your segue. So I named it segue to picture view controller. Make sure it's in quotes and our sender is going to be nil. All right. If we hop back into our picture view controller, now this is where we have to write some code. All right. We have to declare our pictures. So let bear one equal UI image named bear one. All right, and I have to do this for all my images. So I'm going to pause this quick, write this out, uh, and you can do the same. All right, so here you can see I've created my lets. So let bear one equal my image named bear one. Remember, this is what I named my images in my assets. I'll just look back here quick. Bear one, bear two, bear three, packer one, packer two, packer three. All right, so uh, you can see we're all linked up here. So now we need to create an array. All right, in the array is where we're going to pick randomly pick our picture. So we'll say bear array equals bear one, bear two, bear three. All right, do the same thing with your, oh, this is a let. Let packer array equal packer one, All right, so what we've done here is create an array with our images in, all right? Well, not our images, but our lets that are connected to our images. Now we need to get a random number, all right? So let random number equal int arc for random uniform. And since we have three op options in each, we'll change that to three. And then we will create... Uh, our, our equation here. So if picture past equals equals true. So if that is true, okay, we are going to have our, let's see what, oh, that's what I forgot to do. So I forgot to create an outlet for my image over here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that quick. So I need to grab this here. And get a hold of it. There it is. All right, take that over and uh, let's see, football image. All right, so now I need to declare what is going to go, go in there. So I need to say picture. Let's go ahead back to here. Picture. Oh, excuse me. Football image view dot image will equal bear array. with our random number. Else, it's going to equal, so if it's false, all right, it will equal football image view dot image equals, wait, excuse me, I want this to be, I want this to be Packer. All right, packer array, if it's false, it's going to be my bear array. There we go. I would just like the true, true is a positive statement, so I want the true to be with the packers. All right, so we're going to go, so now we have this set up, no errors, just two warnings, and 
not sure what those are for. We can get that figured out later, but now we have to go back to our view controller. So now in our button, so in our packer button, it's true. All right, so we just stated in the picture view controller that if it is indeed true, our football image is going to equal packer array random number. All right. So we have to then make this our false statement. Go here, false. All right. And let's run this thing and see what we get. All right, so here is our app that's all loaded. Let's, uh, let's check it out. So if I hit click on the Packers, it brings me here. All right. However, I don't have a back button. All right, so we need to go and take care of that. The easiest way to do that um, is to use a navigation control. So just to refresh on that quick, if I click my view controller, go to editor, embed in, and navigation control, that adds... That's our, uh, our back button. Also, you can get a, get a nice little title in here if you'd like to do that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and run this again so we can see the app in full. All right, here it loads. All right, let's give this a shot here. So Packers, you can see a different random picture comes up. All right, so there are my three random Packers pictures. Let's check out what's in the Bears now. So remember, this was saying it was uh, picture was true, which if picture is true in the uh, picture view controller, it shows Packer pictures. So now we put false in here. So it should show us a false picture. So let's try it again. All right. So there you go. There is our Bears and Packers app, how to use a segue, go back and forth. Uh, yeah, that is uh, going to be it for this video cast. Hopefully that helps you guys out. All right, have a good night.